Steve and Dan, is, is there any reason to believe that the U.S. military is, is about to attack Syria as punishment? Well, there'd be plenty of reason to think that President Trump might decide to do that. Uh, two years ago, in April of 2017, in really his first use of American military muscle, he ordered the launching of 50 uh, long-range rockets against a Syrian air base. Uh, the U.S. charged that Syria's dictator, Bashar al-Assad, used aircraft from that base to hit civilians using poisonous chemical weapons. And then again last year, President Trump again attacked attacked Syria only bigger. 118 long-range missiles hit the Syrian military because, again, Bashar al-Assad had used chemical weapons. That meant that we now had two American priorities in the messy uh, Syrian civil war. One, to prevent Assad from using weapons of mass destruction. The other, of course, to try to crush ISIS, the radical Islamic group that had held a lot of territory in northern Syria. President Trump says he's been very successful against ISIS, and now we have this statement from the State Department that says there are indications of a chemical attack by the Assad regime. And if that's true, then the United States and its allies aren't going to let that pass without taking action. But so far, there's no confirmation that Syria used chemical weapons this month. Just a suspicion by the State Department, Derek. And, and Dan, what are U.S. officials saying about Russia's role in all of this? That's really interesting because, as you know, there have been critics of the Trump administration who say that the president always goes too easy on Russia, but not in this State Department statement. It says, uh, it says it's likely that Syria has used chemical weapons and that Russia knows about it. It charges Russia with helping the Syrians cover their tracks, even creating phony incidents in which rebels in Syria are blamed for the use of chemical weapons when it was really the Assad regime. I would say that's pretty tough on Russia. Russia saying that Russia has partnered with Syria in its barbaric actions against civilians, Derek. And Dan, here on I-24 News in the